The Beatles. It's been a hard day, and I've been working like a dog. It's been a hard day's night. I should be sleeping. Not actually the Beatles. This is my friend Tom. Everything seems to be right. There were four boys from Liverpool that took the world by storm. They played to sold out stadiums from America to Japan. Um, George, how do you play D chord? But in 1966, they stopped touring altogether to focus on producing musical magic like this. This is not the real John Lennon. John Lennon knew how to play a D chord. But the dream came to an end in 1969, and the band split up. And we were done with the Lake District, so we got the train from Windermere to Liverpool, where the story of the Beatles began. Presumably the story began somewhere here in the Beatles Story Museum, but we didn't need to go inside, because I'm a Beatles expert. The Beatles once went fishing here. Did they? Yeah, probably. Don't leave yet, I have some more facts. This is Matthew Street, famous for the Beatles, Silla Black, and Carl Yu, for some reason. Matthew Street was the perfect place for me to show off my advanced selfie-taking technique. What do you like about Carl Yu? Uh, Let's take a photo together, George. No. This is the Cavern Club, the place that the Beatles used to play at. Let's take a look inside. try to talk about something that isn't associated with the Beatles. Look, there's the Museum of Liverpool. There's a man on a horse. Holy shit, Tom, look, he's on a horse. There's a bus you can eat and drink on. And this is Liverpool Cathedral. Paul McCartney once auditioned to sing in the choir here, but his voice was deemed too weak to, oh God, this is hard. Anyway, this is a Japanese restaurant. To give it a more British vibe, the chef attempted to flip sauteed potatoes into our open mouths. Afterwards, we looked at Queen Victoria for a few minutes, and then looked at this statue commemorating the World War I Christmas truce, when in 1914, British and German soldiers decided to stop fighting and play a game of football. To finish off our trip, we went to a gift shop to look for some tourist tat. Tat is a word used to describe cheap, low-quality novelty gifts. We might also refer to tat as or completely useless if my Korean friends are watching this, don't worry, I have plenty of tap for you. Join me in my next video where Tom and I become fans of a football club known as The Dale. <laughs>